Hello everybody and welcome to Learning is a Journey. I'm Hoshika and my mom's not here again. So today's words are invalidate, alleged, fetter, intrinsic, persevere, preclude, access, paragon, to claim, land and landmark. Our first word is invalidate. Invalidate means to deprive an official document or procedure of legal efficacy, I guess, because of a contravention of a regular law. A sentence for invalidate is, a technical flaw in her papers is invalidate, invalidated her nominate. nomination. Part of speech is a verb. In the picture, there's somebody invalidating some document. They're writing denied. The next word is alleged. Alleged means of an incident or a person said without proof to have taken place or to have a specified illegal or under undesirable quality. Um, a phrase or a sentence starter for alleged is the alleged conspirators dot 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 because you can like write whatever you want after that a verb because we've done the noun part of speech is an adjective the opposite of alleged is certain definite sure confirmed unsuspect unsuspected the next word is fetter Fetter is a chain or manacle used to restrain a prisoner, typically placed around the ankles. A sentence for fetter is, he lay bound with fetters of iron. That must hurt. Part of speech is a noun. In the picture, there are fetters or handcuffs, whatever you want to call them. I think they're fetters, though. They have a bit more length of chain. The next word is extrinsic. Extrinsic means not part of the essential nature of someone or something, coming or operating from the outside. A sentence for extrinsic is extrinsic factors that might affect time budgets. That can be like a header of a document or newspaper headline, something like that. Part of speech is an adjective. Some other words for extrinsic are external, foreign, outward, outside, and irrelevant. The next word is persevere. If you go to Taekwondo, you should probably know this word pretty well if you are like a higher belt. Well, I go to Taekwondo, so I know this word a lot. Um, persevere means to continue in a course of action even in the face of difficulty or with little or no prospect of success. A sentence for persevere is, his family persevered with this treatment. Part of speech is a verb. In the picture, there's a person who reached the top of what seems to be a mountain, and so he's like happy because all his hard work paid off. Never give up. It's basically the same as persevere. In the second picture, there's a person rolling a rock up the mountain. He's showing perseverance. He's not giving up. So he's showing a lot of perseverance. The next word is preclude. Preclude means to prevent from happening. Try to make it impossible. Sentence for pre a sentence for preclude is the secret nature of his work precluded official recognition. Recognition. Part of speech is a verb. In the picture, there's like a stop not allowed sign so like it 
kind of represents preclude because they're trying to make an event stop or not happen. So yeah, the next word is access. I have to say this is kind of a common word because I hear this word a lot of times. Literally everywhere. So access means a means of approaching or entering a place. A sentence for access is, the staircase gives access to the top floor. Well, yeah, that makes sense because without the staircase, you wouldn't be able to get, the people up wouldn't be able to go down and the people down wouldn't be able to go up. So the staircase is very important. Part of speech is a noun. Um, in the picture, there's a person or like holding a key or like somebody's like dropping the key into the other person's hand. So now the person who has the key has access to the building or place or thing that the key unlocks. The next word is paragon. Paragon means a person or thing regarded as a perfect example of a particular quality. The sentence for paragon is, it would have taken a paragon of virtue not to feel viciously jealous. Yeah, kind of. So, um, if, if, I'm sorry, part of speech is a noun. Some other words for paragon are, um, ideal, non, whoops, sorry about that, um, none such, model, ideal, and yeah, that's basically it. The next word is, declaim. Declaim means utter or deliver words or a speech in impassioned way, as if to an audience. A sentence is, she declaimed her views. Part of speech is a verb. So in the picture, there's a person declaiming as if there was an audience, or talking as if there is an audience, as if to an audience. Part of speech is a verb, verb, sorry. And the next word is landmark. A landmark, I think, this is our last word for today. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. But landmark is a historical monument that is recognizable from a large distance. And it's usually there to help people realize, recognize the place they're in. Like Statue of Liberty, for example. You know, Statue of Liberty, if you know that it's in New York, if you see the Statue of Liberty or the Empire State Building, you'll know you're in New York. So that's a landmark. A sentence for landmark is, the landmark was easy to discern even though we were a mile away. We've done discern before, do you guys remember? I suggest pausing the video and giving yourself a little review. Okay, so now you should have figured out what landmark is. Now I'm going to correct you. Landmark means, I mean not landmark, sorry. Um, discern means to see and um, make out, like you can recognize it. So that's what discern means. So let's break the sentence down. The landmark was easy to recognize even though we were a mile away. I mean, that's what it's supposed to do, so good, it, the landmark's doing its job. Part of speech is a noun. So in the picture, there's like, it's a little blurry, but you can see, you can make, you can discern a few landmarks, famous landmarks. I think we can see the Eiffel Tower, Big Ben, and the Statue of Liberty. And I think there's like the Arc and the Taj Mahal, the Ark that's in Paris. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm just gonna call it the Ark for now. There's the Taj Mahal, 
Um, I can't discern anything else, really. Those are the monuments or landmarks that I know. So, thank you very much for joining me today. And if you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Learning Journey. Bye, until tomorrow.